Hey you guys, so I'm doing TOK hard. Uh, I thought I would demonstrate a little bit some strategies that you can use um, to, to be more successful in TOK hard and try and, you know, pull off uh, an extra level or two. We can clear, we're in t um, TOK hard, but we, we can clear this just fine. Um, right now I'm stripped, but the, the other three players that are in TOK hard are not. And that's not such a big deal, you know, um, it, it's not easy to pull off that that strip. You shouldn't expect people to, to do that. You know, if they do, that's great. For me, the time isn't very inconvenient. So for the, you know, for the most part, I can do things to 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 try and make it easier. But um, that's beside the point. If you know you're you're uh, having some trouble with TOK hard, uh, stun is a huge thing, and um, setting up your team properly is also really important. You definitely want you know pretty good mage in there. If you only have one mage, you want an iris. Um, and you can do various things to try and be a little bit more successful here. Um, I've got AoEs and heals, and uh, I'm pretty sure my buddy Alpha Prodigy has um, something similar, but maybe with Centauria in there. And um, and uh, Baldwin our Knight is going to have a defensive spec on. Uh, maybe for the earlier levels, which we can clear pretty easily, he'll, he'll go more offensive. But... Um, but yeah, and then we also brought in Cheesecake, who's a slightly weaker player, you know, level 67. So um, you might not see uh, him um, uh, doing the stuns at the same time as us. Uh, he'll probably try and get a stun in early uh, because um, he might die much sooner than we do. But um, that's okay. I think we're good to go. And they know <laughs> I'm, I'm. They know I'm just blabbing and. Uh, <laughs> So we should just go. I shouldn't keep them waiting too much. And, um, oh, I have uh, Hercules on right now, but probably later I'll switch to Hades. Um, uh, I like Hades a bit more for, um, for, uh, group stuff. Okay, so... How awakening works for the uh, for the sylphs is that everybody's gaining awakening at the same time. I I used to think at first that it was by um, by turn, so how many moves are happening on on the field, but it actually is just a straight timer, um, and so everybody's gaining it at the same time. We're winning a little too fast for me to to demonstrate, um, but what I really want to do is uh, once things get tougher and um, and these opponents start to awaken. Uh, you want to stun them either right, right before, or really, what's best is they've awakened, and then um, while they're in sylph form, they're being stunned, um, and that can, re you know, reduce your chances of getting these huge Delphix or give you more time to heal, and um, just a bunch of various benefits from being able to stun. So Alpha's gonna get a heal in, hopefully, and then maybe Cheesecake will send a stun. So, so I actually go by my own awakening. It's it's to me it gets a little. I guess I could look at these bars, but I like to just look at my own awakening. And as I'm getting close to full, then I know they're also getting close to being full, and um, and on AFK mode or like a, as a bot. They'll uh, they'll awaken as soon as they can, so you know they're going to awaken very soon if uh, you're able to awaken very very soon. And yep, so we have one stunned. Daphne is stunned in um in self form, which is great, so she can't do anything. And then Quintara is down. Um, this gets much more difficult, uh, probably like around level four or five, but these earlier ones uh, go relatively quickly for us. Um, you know, you can use these techniques, especially if if you're able to get um, do like TOK Nightmare, and there's one person who's who's geared. That's already insanely difficult for for most groups, unless you have you know some very big players with you. Um, it's going to be tough, and um, so hopefully you can clear out the uh, the weaker players or the the strip players, and then um, and then just chain stun them. So you know, one person stuns. The person who's geared, and then the next person stuns, and you keep them stunned so that you don't have to um, deal with a bunch of 
really nasty sylph delphics and things like that. So Alpha's got the stun on. <laughs> We're losing poor cheesecake, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, so everybody's got a stun. Hopefully, you know, we don't all stun the same person. But we got two. So we only have to deal with one. I'm gonna... Gonna go. Let's awaken and get that bleed rune out. So, I mean, to me, I especially want to get the, the, the Hercules. Sometimes there are other sylphs in here. Um, but, uh, I mean, you're pretty much looking at a one-shot kill for, you know, very high BR players. If you, um, if you let that Hercules get to it. So, um, uh, usually we can stop at least one or two. And <laughs> I want to go to Hades pretty soon. Um, and I mean, once we get to, to five, I, I usually end up, well, often end up being the lone person alive, so I like to have um, the Hades, uh, which has a, a bloodthirsty type uh, skill. Where I can heal myself while in sylph mode. Um, it's even better if there's no knight uh, tanking because then um, I can do quite a bit of damage. I should have healed poor boy in here. Talking and not taking my own advice, but I'm gonna try and stun one of these guys. Nope, I ended up stunning Sir Adam again. So when you, uh, for those of you who have Hercules, are you going to get him? Um, you definitely want to lead with this shock chain. Um, because it reduces the, the M def of your opponents by 30%. So what I have to do here is I have to get out and heal. Or else I'm in big trouble. So even though I'd like to do more damage with my Hercules, I just need to... Cut my losses and get out. And that was a huge crit, 161k to Daphne, so that's always fun. I'm going to heal up and hopefully wait out until I can self mode again. Self mode again. I think Quinn's giving you some lessons in party chat of his own. Slightly unsolicited, but that's okay. Alright, um, I might be in a bit of trouble here. Uh, but I'm getting close to the stun. So I'm going to do that before I go into Hercules. Do not crit me. Do not crit me. That's right. So well behaved. <laughs> I actually have. Oh, uh, do I have it on? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I have a uh, um, guardian angel on right now. So I hope I'm not taking a ton of crits. <laughs> All right, and I've got Hades. I actually think maybe it'll be okay with Hercules, but I, I prefer having a. Uh, a Delphic that is an AoE, um, especially since probably a couple of these will be a, alive at least when I get to it. So I'm going to do a couple AoEs and then um, maybe a Blood Rune and then I'll have 60 Rage and I can, I can do a, a Blessed Light or something. 
Oh, it looks like Alpha's getting it in early. Yep. Oh, there goes all my rage. It's okay. Alright, so we're getting really close to being able to awaken, so that's that's a proper time to to think about stunning. So I'm just gonna restore somebody, probably going to to Blin. And I can awaken myself. And I'll probably heal rune. Well, maybe maybe I'll leave it for later. Actually, should be okay. Um, in case I need to get out of myself, I think I can heal a bit off of Sir Adam. Oh wow, that hurt. That was like, holy crap! Was, uh, ow, ow. <laughs> It was like 200, 260k or something, it's crazy like that. I know uh, Daphne has a similar build to another person, um, Sushi. Both of them tend to have just really, really high magical attack, really high crit, um, much lower on the defense side of things. So if they do end up critting you, it's just painful. Alright, so that didn't go so well, but we just do it again. Um, Would have been helpful had we, we stunned her, but... Uh, Yep, it happens. And this is very typical of Hercules. It's, you know, you either manage to, to kill them off because they have, you know, lower defense, can't heal themselves and things, or you just get, you know, one shot to death. When I was almost at full health, and it doesn't really matter. It would have been, even if I were at full health, I wouldn't have survived that. It was like 260k or something like that. I don't have that much HP. Okay. I'm going to actually heal first and then stun. Um, because, you know, Alpha's, uh, um, Blessed Light should do something, but not everything. So get the stun out, and they'll awaken, and hopefully I can stop them for. Uh, I mean, I have, I have full Holy Seal, so I should be three turns. Nice. Okay, so we stunned all three. That's great. So I have some wiggle room to to sylph and um, get a Delphic off before they can do anything. Another great thing that um, that Bwin's bringing is is a chaos rune, and um, it used to be that chaos did not work in here. I'm pretty sure, but um, but now it does, and so. Um, sometimes uh, leading with a chaos rune or doing a chaos rune when they're sylphing is great because if they delphic each other it's even better for all the damage that they do to you and it'll uh, instead be going to your enemies so um, so it used to be that they would not awaken uh, the, the TOK the, the kings, um, but now they do. But other things work. We can stun now, and we can do other things to to try and beat them. Um, so it, it hurts a lot now that they can awaken. It's definitely harder, even with being able to stun, being able to use chaos and and um, and stuff like that. Um, it's still pretty rough. Uh. You know, if if you can convince cross server that that it's a good idea for all your top people to drop their sylphs and drop their percentage astrals, um, that's great. And you can probably pull off nightmare without anybody having to wake up at crazy hours. Um, from what I've heard, there are some some areas that that do do that, but there's <laughs> a lot of coordination. So just take what you can get. And it's da. We're done. Um, so that went a lot better than, than the time before. I didn't have to deal with the big Delphics, you know, killing me. But um, that's the basic idea. You know, take advantage of Holy Seal, take advantage of Chaos Runes, um, and time them properly. Uh, so, so Chaos is good early on, or 
and then maybe you get another one during during the awakenings um and time your holy seal to uh to to be right as their as the opponents are awakening so you can get them while they're in, in sylph mode or prevent them from sylphing as quickly um all right well i hope that was helpful take care you guys have a good day